guys? This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Back for another talk today on some metal. You guessed it. Before we jump in, if you find this video useful, if you enjoy it, why don't you help me out, help the channel out. Drop a little like. Be much appreciated. If you really like the content, you can think of subscribing, right? There you go. Appreciate it. All right, let's do this. Today, we're talking about MP35N. Got it? That is MP35N. Easy. So, what is MP35N, or in the UNS system, R30035? Well, it's an alloy of cobalt, nickel, chromium, and molybdenum, and it can be age hardened to high strength after being cold worked. In aerospace applications, there are three applicable AMS specifications. For bar stock, that is. All require that the material is vacuum induction melted. Do you remember what that means? Remember the shorthand? V I M. Or, like we said, vacuum induction melted. And lastly, it is followed by a C E V M. Remember that one? Consumable electrode vacuum melt. So, they go through both of those processes. Now, here we're going to talk about the chemical composition. Let's get ready. And uh, let's say, right, here we are. So, what do we got today, folks? Carbon, 0 0.025 max. Manganese, 0 0.15 max. Silicon, 0 0.15 max. We have phosphorus, 0 0.015 max. We have sulfur, 0 0.010 max. We have chromium, which is 19 to 21%. We have nickel, 33 to 37%. We have molybdenum at 9 to 10.5%. Titanium, 1% max. Iron, 1% max. And lastly, cobalt, which is the remainder. So here we go. Easy peasy. Now, let's talk about the three AMS specs and their different specification requirements. So, the three AMS specs do in fact have different requirements for their each condition. Now, AMS 5758 is for the solution treated condition. Solution treatment is typically Okay, typically in the 1900 to 1925 degree range for four to eight hours. Now the mechanical properties carry a tensile strength of 115 to 145,000 PSI, a yield strength of 35,000 to 65,000 PSI with an elongation of 50% min and a reduction of area of 65% min. It does require additional cold work and then age hardening to develop high strength in the fabricated parts. Now, AMS 5844, the solution treated and cold worked condition, requires only additional age hardening heat treatment of the parts to develop the high strength. All right, lastly, we got AMS 5845 for solution treated cold worked and age hardened. Now the mechanical properties here are as follows. Tensile strength carries a 260,000 PSI min, yield strength 230,000 PSI min, elongation an 8% min, with a reduction of area at a 35% min. And so that's going to basically wrap up what we got to say today about MP35N. And so here's where I'm going to remind you that AMS specifications contain additional requirements than just what we've shown you here today. Other specifications and part requirements can also apply. And so what do you think I'm going to say for the 43rd time? Check. The specs. You got it. You guessed it. Totally. Nailed it. So this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Thanks for tuning in. If you made it this far and you haven't yet, please subscribe. All right? If you missed any of the previous videos, there they are. Check them out. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I appreciate you guys tuning in. See you guys next Thursday. I'm out.